Hello, EcoFest! What a treat it is to be able to contribute to Hope in Action for EcoFest online today. Um, I'm imagining the crowds in the field just up there, um, 200 meters away, and I'm coming to the stage with a massive roar. It's time to wake up, I think. Anyway, my name is Tom, and I live just down the road uh, on Neville's Cross Bank, and my day job and my passion is to help prevent climate chaos by reducing my own emissions and helping our wider community, our region and our nation work towards a safer planet by reducing our emissions and changing the way we live our lives. It's not that big of a challenge. But with my five minutes today, I want to ask you some questions and provoke you to make some change. Are you up for that? I'm gonna ask you three things. First of all, how much do you emit? Second, how would you calculate your emissions? And third, how are you going to reduce them? You see, my background is as a mechanical engineer, um, and as engineers, we as engineers, as engineers, we love data. We love measuring things. Uh, we love making a change and seeing the impact of that change. Uh, in the data. And, but I know for many of you, that might not get you going as much as me. But I think actually measuring stuff can be a big help when we look at our own emissions. But first, some context. As I'm sure you know, the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change suggests we need to reduce our emissions globally by 50% by 2030 to avoid warming more than 1.5 degrees. That's actually a reduction of 7% year on year. And to me, that seems like a big challenge. We could leave that to others, like our government to sort out, but maybe, maybe, they might need some help. Could you personally set yourself a 7% reduction target each year from now to 2030? Actually, let's make it 10%. Let's get rid of seven, let's make it 10%. We tend to emit more in the UK and we've been emitting for much longer than most countries. 10% seems fair. So what would your first step be? I think personally, the first step should be to start to count our emissions. And there's loads of tools out there. I'll link some below, um, hopefully, if I can, I'm not sure. Um, I think those tools sometimes overcomplicate things. It can be difficult to understand the impact of your food consumption, but we know we should eat less meat and we should eat more local. It could be difficult to look at the impact of your clothing, but we know we should stop buying as much. We should repair, not replace. It can be difficult to look at the impact of your travel, but we know we should maybe take a year or two or three off flying instead. But actually, I wanna give you a little trick and ask you to focus on three simple things. Those three things are your electricity use, your gas use, and the miles you drive. Because for every kilowatt hour of electricity we use, it more or less emits 200 grams of CO2. For every kilowatt hour of gas we use, it more or less emits 200 grams of CO2. And for every mile you drive in a petrol or diesel car, it more or less emits 200 grams of CO2. It is different for every car. If you drive a Prius like that, it's probably less. If you drive a Range Rover, stop driving a Range Rover. But I think we can work to reduce all those things. And the action I want from you for 2020 is reduce each one of those things by 10% by this time next year. Can we do that? Can we work out over this whole next year? But by EcoFest 2021, we're emitting 10% less. So look at your bills, start counting your miles, and then set yourself a target to reduce each one by 10%. Imagine the spare cash that we might have. And to do that, we could say for this year, I'm gonna ride my bike more. I'm gonna walk into the city center rather than drive. And then ask, what is the significant change to the way uh, way we get around that will reduce the miles we drive. And then we could think about how we heat our home. Um, what's the insulation like in the attic? Are there any major drafts? Could you get some thicker curtains? Does your boiler need servicing? Could you get a new thermostat or a better thermostat, a smarter thermostat? Could you turn that thermostat down by half a degree or a degree? Could you buy a thicker jumper? 
Could you take one less bath per week? Could you take a shower for one minute less per day? Oh, lots of options. But what's the significant thing that you're gonna do to reduce the amount of gas you use for heating? And then we could think about how much electricity we use. Can you replace all your light bulbs with LEDs? Could you boil the right amount of water that you need for a cup of tea? What are you gonna do to change and reduce the amount of electricity you use significantly? So that's my challenge extended. I've gone a little bit over time, but reduce your emissions in the next year by 10%. The big challenge comes in two years time when we've got to do all that all over again, reducing by another 10%. But that's next year's talk. See you at EcoFest 2021 back in the field. See you then.